Everyone to remain seated with their seat right now. A terrifying moment for the 177 people on board Alaska Airlines Flight 1282. We are emergency, we are depressurized, we do need to return back to. We have 177 passengers. Not long after takeoff, part of the plane's fuselage blew out, leaving a gaping hole in the aircraft 16,000 feet in the air. The plane made an emergency landing in the US city of Portland just 20 minutes after takeoff. Some passengers reported minor injuries, but authorities warn the January 5 incident could have been much worse. Think about what happens when you're in cruise. Everybody's up and walking. Folks don't have seatbelts on. We could have end up with, ended up with something so much more tragic. What popped out was a door plug, which covered a potential additional exit. Investigations into how it blew out of the Boeing 737 MAX 9 are ongoing. We have not yet recovered the four bolts uh, that restrain it from its vertical movement and we have not yet determined if they existed there. Like millions of people around the world, Portland's Bob Sauer watched news of the event with interest. It hadn't dawned on me that it was actually in my neighborhood was where the debris had come down. He scoured his property for the missing door plug at a friend's urging. I noticed that uh, against the back uh, of the property under a line of cedar trees I'd planted, there was something gleaming in white that should not have been there. But, oh my goodness. Um, and as I started walking towards it, my heart started beating faster because it looked very much like an airplane part. Uh, and it was. He reported the find to the National Transportation Safety Board, who collected the debris earlier today. The discovery has made the science teacher popular with his pupils. My students today were all very excited about it and I didn't really get any schoolwork done at school today because so many people came in to talk to me about it. US authorities and several airlines in other countries have grounded MAX 9s pending further inspections. America's United Airlines has announced it found loose bolts in door plugs on its planes of the same make. No airlines fly MAX 9s into Australia. At this stage, I don't really see any impact on Australian aviation because we don't really have any of these aircraft with these plugs flying in Australia. Both Virgin and Bonza have either MAX 8 or MAX 8s on order, but the MAX 8s, the base MAX 8 model, do not include this extra optional exit or hence the plug. The Boeing 737 MAX series has come under scrutiny in recent years. In 2018, a Lion Air flight crashed into the Java Sea just 10 minutes after takeoff, killing 189 passengers and crew. Less than five months later, an Ethiopian Airlines flight also nosedived. 157 people were killed. And that was related to a issue with a flight control system which was intended to prevent stall. The whole series of aircraft was grounded for almost two years and Boeing has put in place software fixes that would have, if they were in place at the time, prevented both of those incidents. Ed Pearson worked as a manager on the 737 MAX program between 2015 and 18. He's long voiced his concern that schedules trump safety at the US manufacturer. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There's, you know, constant pressure. They're having issues with parts, not enough skilled labor. I mean, all the variables that were in place before the two MAX crashes are still there. He says without drastic change, he'll avoid flying on the planes he once helped build. I would not fly a MAX. I absolutely would not recommend flying a MAX. And I don't mean just the Dash 9s that are having these problems today, because a lot of the reports and stuff we're seeing is, is also in the, in the other model. Max, and so that plane needs to be grounded, um, period, and it needs a lot of work um, to get it back in the air. And I don't even know if it's possible to, to fix that plane permanently. Boeing declined to answer specific questions, instead saying safety is our top priority and we deeply regret the impact this event has had. 
We will remain in close contact with our regulator and customers. The investigation into Flight 1282 could take up to a year. Aviation experts like Dr Sonia Brown stress air travel is safe. All aircraft are certified to high standards. Sometimes incidents happen, just like if you jump in a car, sometimes you could be involved in a car accident. There's some level of risk with everything we do, but overall aviation is the safest form of transport we have.